guys. Welcome back for another demo. Okay, so this one is going to be a Bath Baby cocktail today, and I've had this box for about a week, and I've been thinking, hmm, how exactly do I want to cocktail all this yummy spa stuff? So this one is the Sweet Meyer Lemon Bath Bomb from Mountain Madness, and it smells just exactly like the name of it. It's sweet, and it's a really fresh lemon scent. It smells just like a Meyer lemon. There's no cleaner undertone. It's not super, super tart. It's just, it smells just like a fresh lemon and there's a little bit of sweetness to it. It's just a really, really nice scent. So my water level is really low because I'm going to do a bubble bar and I might do a little crumble and I'm going to try, try to kind of show you guys how to do the charcoal mask. So I've got several things to show you. So let's go ahead and get started with this bath bomb, but it smells really, really good and we're going to see what it looks like. That is a fast fizzer. Oh, it smells good. Um, those colors, I was gonna say those colors aren't gonna show up very well in my bathroom with this lighting, but it's not floating, so you can't really see it too much, but oh, look at the little flower. So I'll just hold it for another second. It smells really bright and pretty. And it is pretty much just your basic fizzer, but it's very highly scented, I can tell you that. And obviously there's really not a lot of color coming out of it, but you know, that's okay. And that's one reason why, you know, if you have something like this, which, you know, if it doesn't float, that's okay. If it doesn't have a lot of color, that's okay. If it doesn't have a lot of foam, <laughs> that's okay too. But I honestly has a really nice scent. So something like this is perfect to cocktail with some other things. which is exactly what we're gonna do today on our spa day. I have really been looking forward to this cocktail, actually. And as a matter of fact, with this b and &E yellow bath bomb, I don't mind at all that that is just a barely, barely um, light yellow color. That is not an offensive yellow color at all. It's just barely a tinge of color, so that's nice. Okay, now we're gonna move on to a little bath crumble. Okay, so next we have some bath crumble from Soak and Unwind, and I've been wanting to try this company for a long time, so I'm excited about adding this to the bath. Now, it says this one is scented in lemongrass, black currant, and sugar cane with essential oils of lemongrass, patchouli, and lime. Now, when I smelled this, during the unboxing. I didn't smell any patchouli, which I was glad about, but it says that the essential oil is in there. So I'm sure the undertone is in there. And also it says this has five different moisturizing oils in there. So I'm sure that this is going to be nice and soft to make the water nice and soft. So I want to show you guys that this looks like it's very, very fine powder. It's not like, um, like a bath bomb dust. Let me see, Let me show you. It's not like, um, like really, um, coarse bath bomb dust. It's really fine powder, so that's going to be nice and soft. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get, um, I've got a little scoop right here, so I'm going to put a few scoops of this in there, and we're going to add that to the bath and see what that looks like. So hang on just a sec. Okay, so I have my little scoop. Now this is seven ounces, and if I weren't doing a cocktail, I would probably, well, I know, I would dump all this in my bath, but since I am, I'm probably gonna put about half of it in there. And so I didn't really tell y'all, but what this smells like to me, um, I do smell like the lemongrass and the, um, definitely the citrus in it. It's a little bit sweet and it is herbally to me at the same time. So I'm gonna call that like definitely a spa type scent. It could be unisex because it's not super sweet and super citrusy, but it's um, it's just a really nice, kind of different, uh, very unique blended type scent. So um, I really, really like it. So it definitely goes with the lemon, but it's also gonna go with the spa theme that we're gonna do. And it also says that it's a fizzy powder. So I think that it's gonna give us some bubbles on top of what we're gonna get from our bubble bar. And it looks like it's adding a little bit of color. 
Now, it would be easier if I wasn't holding the camera in my other hand. So I'm just kind of like going at this blonde with my scoops. But hopefully this will give you guys an idea. It's smelling really, really good in here. This all smells very like naturally citrusy, if that makes sense. Not like fake like candy or like, I don't know. It's just like very, like, yeah, naturally citrusy. <laughs> okay. All right. That's about half. I think that's about half. Let's see. What the hell? <laughs> I just love doing this. Okay. Okay. There. That's a little less. That's a little more than half. A little less left than half. Okay, so now we have the bubble bar left to do, which I'm just so excited about. I can't, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it is fizzing. It is fizzing, oh my gosh. It looks like um, like little raindrops, like it's raining, or like there are little fish under there if you've ever been to like a lake or like a pond or something and you, you know, like the fish are like coming up to bite when you go to feed them. I'm getting off topic, but that's really cool. That's super cool. So it is totally fizzing. I can't hear anything, but that's super cool. So cool. Okay, we're going to move on to the bubble bar. Okay, so I'd be remiss if I didn't reach my hand in here and feel this water because, like I told you guys, that bath crumble was supposed to be really soft. And course my lighting in here is terrible it really is because you can kind of see where it's still fizzing over there and has that <laughs> that's so cute um there's a little bit of a sheen on top of the water and so I knew that that was going to be those essential oils in there and it is really really soft so I wanted to feel it before I put the bubble bar in so that's probably a little bit from the bath bomb, but mostly with the bath crumble because usually when bath bombs are just fizzers like that, they probably don't have too much moisture in them, but um, this feels really good. So, okay, now let's move on to the bubble bar. All right, so next up, what we have for our bubble bar today are these adorable, cool as a cucumber by Bedazzled Bath and Body. So they're four different slices that look like they came straight out of the produce section at the grocery store. So freaking cute. I can't stand it. So I was thinking how many should I use? And I thought, again, what the hell? <laughs> Let's just use them all. So we're going to use all of these. And these are scented in, of course, cucumber melon, but they're scented in honeydew, watermelon, and cucumber so these are going to be nice and fruity too so they're going to go with the lemon and the citrus and the spa scent the spa theme and it's just going to be awesome i can't wait to do these i think they're going to be so cute now i do have a couple products from bedazzled but i haven't gotten to try them yet so it was quite a coincidence when they came in the bath bevy box but i was very excited to see those so this is going to be my first time trying this company so Anyway, let's go ahead and pop these in the strainer and see how many bubbles we get. All right, these are just so cute. I can't stand it. So what they smell like to me now that I've got these out of the package, they smell definitely a little more melony. A little more, maybe even honeydew melon, but they smell really, really good. So, and I'm glad I chose to use all of them. So let's go ahead and turn on the water and check out the bubbles.
they're heavy too. Now that they're wet, they're super heavy. So you can definitely just try one of these, maybe two, but I can already tell you do not need them all for one bath. Absolutely not. Okay, these are almost done, but I've got to cut off my water or I'm going to be overrun with bubbles. All right, so that's how many bubbles we have without jets. And I haven't agitated anything, as you guys could see. So let's turn those on real quick. And the water is a really pretty, like, light, light mint green. That's how I would describe it. There are going to be so many bubbles in this tub. And they look really, like, thick and, like, dense to me. Oh, this is going to be really, really nice. Now, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to try and... Um, show you the mask the best that I can and because um, it's a pretty cool mask. I think it's a pretty cool mask. So I'm going to try and show you guys how that you would use that and um, we'll try and add that into the video. It might not make it but I'm going to try. So that looks like a really, really nice bubble bath. So and this smells really nice and melony in here. So let's go ahead and go on over to the mask and see if I can show you guys how to do that. All right, so this would be my first sink side demo. <laughs> okay, so what this is, is it's a charcoal face mask, obviously, but it's a dry mask, and I have used one of these before. Now, I usually use sheet masks because, honestly, I mean, they're just super easy. You rip open the package and you slap it on your face. So this is usually more effort than I'm used to going through, but um, it's super easy. The cool thing about masks like this um, is they're totally customizable. Now I've had, not charcoal, but I've had one like this before um, from Body Bon Bon. Um, Irene sent me one. It was really cool. So what you do, and don't mind my dirty sink, you guys. What you do is you put it in here, and I'm obviously going... Uh, just only looking through my camera. So, if I'm missing the bowl or I'm not totally centered, that's why I should be doing this on a tripod. But we're just doing all this super, super casual. So, I believe the charcoal and it said on the front is kind of a detoxifying mask, which, you know, we all need that to a certain point. Okay, um, yeah, it draws bacteria, poisons, and chemicals, dirt from your skin. Okay, so this is just by and large detoxifying, but, okay, so what you can do is you can add honey or oils or tea or vinegar, just milk, any kind of stuff like that, depending on your skin type. For instance, if you have dry skin, you might wanna add a certain kind of oil, if you have sensitive skin, you might want to add some kind of aloe vera, that kind of thing. Now, I'm just going to add water today just for demonstration purposes. But depending on what your needs are and depending on what kind of skin you have, you can add all kinds of different things to the mask and then put it on. And after it dries, just a few minutes after it dries, that's when you know it's ready to come off. So it's really cool. And all you have to do is just add just enough until it gets to you. A nice texture to where you want to put it on your face and you just slap it on you can stir it with a spoon but I just stir mine with my finger and you just you know put it on with a couple of fingers and that's pretty much it so it's really kind of a cool concept that um the dry ingredients are already there and then you can kind of add whatever you want to to make it um, ready to go on to your face so anyway that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna add a little bit of water and then I'm gonna cut this right off and I'm gonna put it on my face Obviously, you can always add more depending on if you need to or not. It's going to turn into a little bit of a paste, which is exactly what you want until it gets the right consistency. And I should be doing this with a spoon. What I did with the other one I had, and what Irene told me to do, or maybe it just said that on the directions, you can kind of just put it in the palm of your hand and just mix it in the palm of your hand if you don't want to 
even use a little bowl or have to clean it out, which, you know, kind of like when you use the back of your hand with like when you're putting on makeup and stuff, everything you have that you need is just already right there with you. You got your hand, as long as they're clean, you got your hand and your fingers. Okay, now considering the fact that my camera's in my other hand, that's pretty much what I'm looking for. That feels like a mud. If you can see, that feels like a mud consistency. So I'm gonna stir that up a little better with a put my camera down, stir this up a couple, um, a little bit more with a couple other fingers, slap it on my face, and that's it. So I think that's pretty cool. So if that made any kind of sense to you guys, next time I'll set up a tripod when I'm showing you something like this, but I hope that helps you if you haven't seen anything like that. So anyway, I've already grabbed my shower, so I'm gonna hop in my spa day bubble bath with my mask on, and then after it dries, I'm gonna take a um, just a wet washcloth right next to me, and I'm gonna wipe it off real good, because you're not supposed to take this off with any cleanser. You're supposed to just cleanse your face like you normally would before the mask. So anyway, I will let you guys know how my bath was when I get out. See you in a minute. Okay guys, so that wraps it up for my spa day bath cocktail from this Bath Baby box. This was an awesome bath. I was in there for a really long time. The water was super soft. I could put a lotion on, but I don't necessarily need one. Now the scent ended up to be somewhere along the lines of a cucumbery, grassy, herbaly type scent with the undertone of that melon and lemon. So it was just a really nice mix of a little bit of fruity and just a really nice spa scent. It is lingering in the bathroom and like I said, the water was just super soft and there were absolutely just a ton of bubbles. So there are some coupon codes and I think that I'll just go ahead and put those, just pepper them in the video somewhere. So they should already have been up in the video. And next month, definitely go ahead and check out Bath Bevy. I will have all of those links listed down below as well as these companies. And the theme I've already peeked at it, it's Mermaid Kisses and Starfish Wishes. And I think that's just a really cute theme like all of them are. So I hope you enjoyed this demo, you guys. My Bath Bevy cocktail demos, they're kind of all over the place, but I really am having a good time kind of putting all these together and they're just, they're picked out so carefully to go well together in kind of a number of different combinations. So I just have a lot of fun doing these demos. So let me know if you have gotten this box yet and what you thought of this demo and I just appreciate you watching. Thanks and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.